Hello folks, welcome back to the show here on Flake Director. I give you guys the latest that happened in movie news throughout the week, and then I give you guys my personal take on the matter at hand. I'm your host, Awesome, and before I go on, I do want to apologize for the lack of a show last week. I just want to take it back for a weekend and relax, but I'm back here to give you guys a show for this week, so let's jump into some news regarding... The Resident Evil Reboot. Yep, they're rebooting the Resident Evil movie franchise. So for those of you who don't know me personally, I love the Resident Evil franchise. The games are some of my favorite games of all time. Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, 4. I like 5 as an action game. Resident Evil 6, I actually never got the chance to play. 7 is terrifying. Love Code Veronica. Revelations was a lot of fun. And that's really about it. Oh yeah, Resident Evil 0. I almost forgot about that one. Resident Evil 0 is very underrated. But compared to the games, the movies, however... Not a fan. Mine is the first Resident Evil, which I do find watchable, but everything else I'm not a fan of, especially the final chapter, which I think is one of the worst films I've ever seen in my lifetime. It was one of my, it was actually my worst one of last year. But anyways, it was reported that a long time ago that Resident Evil would be rebooted with James Wan serving as producer, not as director, which really sounds because I think he'd be a great fit for this. But there are two things to announce when it comes to the story. The first one is that the producer wants more action. Like more action is what the Resident Evil franchise needs. Action is not what Resident Evil is all about. It's essentially an investigative horror film that has a great mystery, ambiance, suspense, tension, not this war science fiction BS that we've gone for the past years. Like not for the, like, for the past decade. But just to add more fuel to the fire, not only do the producers want more action, but the director of the Resident Evil reboot, this is where I get mad even more so. But the director of the Resident Evil reboot, and I know I'm gonna butcher this guy's name, is jo Johannes Roberts, the man who brought us 47 meters down, which I haven't seen, and Strangers Pray at Night. I don't know what to say. I hate this choice. I really do. I hate Shaders Pray at Night. It's one of my worst films of the year. How they thought that this guy was the right choice for Resident Evil is beyond me. I have lost hope for Resident Evil for the movies at this point. The games, I cannot wait for Resident Evil 2, but for the movies, I've lost hope that any other ones will be good. I thought we were done with these guys. Stop it! Okay, so for our next three story, we're going right into Bond 25, a movie that I'm very excited to see, of course, because I'm a big James Bond fan. But this is a story that I don't know if it's still happening or if it's just rumored, but supposedly, and this makes me very curious to see if it will still happen, but for the villain role of Bond 25, what I've been hearing is that apparently, Rami Malek was considered to play the villain in Bond 25. Rami Malek. And you know what? If this is true, and if they're still talking with him, I hope he's the villain. Rami Malek is a terrific actor. I've only seen him a couple of things. I mean, Bohemian Rhapsody, I thought he was phenomenal in Bohemian Rhapsody. But if you're talking about him as a villain, there's a game out there called Until Dawn on the PlayStation 4, which I really don't know if he really plays the villain, but his psychology, his mentality and Until Dawn really made him look like such a very sympathetic villain. And I haven't seen a lot of Mr. Robot, I've seen a few episodes, and he is phenomenal in that show as well. But not really, I really do think that Ryan Malik could pull off being a villain. I really do think so. He's a terrific actor. I just find this really cool that Robbie Malik could possibly play a Bond villain. I hope he's in it, because wouldn't that be an amazing Bond film, Daniel Craig going up against Robbie Malik? I mean, sure, he may not look like the fighting type, but as a, as, a, as a villain that could get under Bond's skin and, and under his psychology, I think that could work very well, especially knowing that the director is Kerry Fukunaga. I don't know if this is actually happening, this is just the rumor mill, but if it does happen, this could be a great film. Alright, so our second and final news story is something that makes me very excited because I love the MCU and I love this character, but it was reported that Scott Derrickson, the director of Doctor Strange, might just be returning to direct Doctor Strange, the sequel to it. Now, I know a lot of people are saying, well, how is Doctor Strange going to be in the second movie because isn't he dead? Well, here's the thing. Now, I'm going to throw a theory out there. For Avengers of Fandy War, spoiler, if you guys haven't seen the film, I mean, where have you been for, like, the past six months? But in Avengers of Fandy War, when Thanos snapped his fingers after getting all the Infinity Stones, Doctor Strange is one of the many people to vanish away. 
but something tells me that Avengers Endgame. Now, if you guys haven't seen Ant Man and the Wasp, if you guys remember in the post or in the mid credits, and I should say that Ant Man Scott Lang got stuck in the quantum realm while he was trying to get something. I guess a little experimentation thing. Now, something tells me that since he apparently got out, that that thing that he got will reverse the snap that Thanos did. And as a result, that will bring back Spider-Man, it will bring back Doctor Strange, maybe the Guardians of the Galaxy, we'll see. I mean, something will bring back Doctor Strange, I feel like. Something will bring him back. But anyways, going back to Doctor Strange, the sequel, Scott Derrickson did such a great job of introducing us to the cult side of the MCU with the occult, with the Sorcerer Supreme, and I really thought, I really did think he did a phenomenal job with bringing that to life. I really hope he does come back. Can I wait to see? I'm a, I'm really curious to see how Doctor Strange even comes back in the first place, if he does come back, that is. And for our final news story of the day, we got some news revolving around Jordan Peele's latest horror film, which is Us. If you guys haven't heard of Jordan Peele, again, where have you been for the past year or so? Or the past couple of years, I should say. Get Out was released last year, which I thought was a great, if not a phenomenal horror satire, I should say. But now Jordan Peele is making his latest horror film titled Us. We've got the very first poster, and this is it right here. And this poster definitely is giving me some very creepy vibes. I just, I love the coloring of the poster. Reminds me of... I don't know why, I get a Jeepers Creepers vibe for some reason, even though I have never seen Jeepers Creepers, but from looking at this, I just think of Jeepers Creepers for some reason. I don't know why. Now I have some of the plot analysis and I will pull it up to tell you guys, so give me just one second. A mother played by Lupita Nyong'o and a father played by Winston Duke take their children to their beach house expecting to unplug and unwind with friends played by Elizabeth Moss and Tim Heidecker, but as the night descends, their serenity turns attention and chaos when some shocking visitors arrive uninvited. The poster looks great. I'm really excited to see this film. I'm really excited for the cast. The plot analysis alone makes me very excited. And I'm really excited to see the movie. That's all I'm, That's all I have to say about this one. Alrighty guys, and that's gonna do it for this week's show. Guys, please comment out and let me know below. How do you guys feel about the Resident Evil reboot? Are you guys even more nervous about it this time? Or are you guys actually excited about it? How do you guys feel about the possibility of Rami Malek maybe playing a Bond villain? Going. Does that excite you guys? How do you guys feel about Scott Derrickson maybe returning to direct the sequel to Doctor Strange? And finally, how do you guys feel about the first poster for Jordan Peele's latest horror film, Us? Does it excite you guys in any way that Jordan Peele is making another horror film? Or would like to see him do another genre after this? Let me know below. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's show. If so, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you guys want to see any of our previous two shows, please click either right there or there. And of course, until next week's show, we will see you guys next week. Have a great week, guys.